Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about money and happiness. I'll be talking all about money and happiness. Now I believe that certain people undervalue the importance of money in life and certain people overvalue the importance of money in life. Some people believe that money has absolutely no relationship with happiness and other people believe that money will completely lead to happiness. If you have money, you're going to be happy. Now, I believe that both of those statements and ideas are false and that the truth lies somewhere in between those two. Now, this is what inspired this video. I went to go grab some food and while I was waiting for the takeout to be ready I got into a conversation with the person inside of the takeout restaurant uh, about money and happiness and we were in the same agreements and that's why I just wanted to share my point of view with you in this video now money does play a slight role in happiness now let me explain why money can buy you a level of freedom that can't be achieved without money. Now, here's the thing. Some people, when they want to earn money, they feel chained down to that money. They get something in their head and they feel like if they don't get that materialistic thing, they're not going to be happy. Let's say they want to buy a $300,000 sports car. They get it in their mind and that's a great goal. That's one of my goals, $240,000 to, 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 to be more precise. Um, but they get it in their mind and if they can't have that sports car, they can't be happy. And that is the wrong way to think about money because that's overvaluing the importance of money on life. Other people feel like they don't need any money. If they make X amount of dollars per year, well, you know, they, they don't need to make more money. They don't need to have any materialistic goals at all. And that's not right as well, because you know what? It's about more than materialistic goals. When you set a financial goal, if your only goal is to have that $300,000 sports car or $240,000 sports car in my case, then of course you're not going to be happy because you can get that and that's not going to make you happy. That has nothing to do with freedom. But if part of your goal is to have some materialistic things, which is completely great in my opinion, but the other part of your goal is to have money to buy experiences like great vacations and the other part of your goal is to buy freedom like being able to retire 20 years earlier than the average person, then that's how money money can relate to happiness okay so everybody that I can think of wants at least some form of materialistic thing whether it's a three hundred thousand dollar sports car or a two dollar chocolate bar okay you know I, I can't imagine a person that doesn't want anything even an article of clothing is materialistic in the sense that it costs money okay and everybody that I know wants some form of experience. Now, that may be, you know, driving in a, uh, driving a sports car for a day and renting it, or going on a nice cruise, or going on a nice vacation, or just driving around in a neighborhood in a car that costs money. That's an experience that is related to money. And everybody wants at least some form of freedom. If you don't have freedom, then you're working seven days a week, 16 to 20 hours a day. In order to, you know, work less, you need to have money to support yourself without working so with that being said money is related to that sense of freedom if you want a Saturday off then you need to make sure that you have enough money so that you don't have to work Saturday and you can still pay for your expenses okay and if you want the extreme of that then you know what if you want uh, you know to retire 20 years early you need to be financially ready to retire at the age of 45 let's say as opposed to 65 so I just want to clarify, okay? Money will not make you happy automatically, okay? But also, being broke won't make you happy. So many times I've had a conversation with people and they, and I tell them that money has a, a certain level of importance in life. It, it's undeniable. And those people say, well, money won't make you happy. You know, there are lots of rich people that are unhappy. And that's true, but there are lots of rich people that are happy. There are lots of, also lots of broke people that are unhappy and also lots of broke people that are happy. So with that being said, money has no direct link to happiness. It only relates to happiness however much you allow it to lead to happiness. So here's the thing. You can be happy without money and then you can also be happy with money. And that's what I want to portray. If you say that, you know, if you're, if you, if your focus is on making more money, then you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life chances are you're not going to put yourself in a position of wealth and happiness you might be happy as someone that doesn't have wealth but 
you're not going to put yourself in the optimal position, which is wealth and happiness. So I would suggest that you make your goal being wealthy and being happy. Okay. Now the key is to be happy even when you're not wealthy. And then as you build wealth, you can just enhance that happiness. Now I've been a happy person my whole life. Okay. And I believe my, I haven't always been wealthy my whole life. I've been happy even when I wasn't making a lot of money at all. And I barely had any money in my bank account. I was still happy. But now that I'm building wealth, I have allowed myself to be a little bit happier in the sense that I'm not worrying about money. I'm not worrying about as much of a budget. I'm not worrying about taking a Saturday or a Sunday off because I can afford to do that, okay? I'm not worrying about not being able to buy that little thing that makes, that makes myself happy or my family happy because I can afford it. I can, and I, if I can't afford it, then I know how to make more money to be able to afford it. So the, the, the key takeaway for this video is this. If you wanna sum up all about money and happiness and how money relates to happiness, it's this. There's no direct link between money and happiness unless you have had happiness without money. And if you can have happiness without money, then you can use money to enhance your happiness. Now, does having more money make you a little bit sad once in a while? Of course. Because once you have it, you want even more of it, okay? If you make $100,000 a year, you wanna make 200. And if you make 200, you wanna make 500. So there's a certain level of, I want more to it. But that accounts for like 1% of what happens when you build wealth. Because the other 99% is the happiness, the ambition, the freedom, all of that good stuff. So I'm not here today to tell you that you can't be happy unless you have money, because that's very false. I'm here today to tell you that you should focus on building your happiness without wealth and then building your wealth. And as you increase your wealth, if you're happy to begin with, as you increase your wealth, you're going to be even happier because you're going to be able to get rid of all of those little sad things that cause you to be unhappy without wealth. Things like, I want that, but I can't buy it right now. Things like, well, I want to go to my son, my daughter's soccer game, my niece's soccer game, my nephew's soccer game, but I have to go to work because I need to make money today. All of those little tiny things that might make you the slightest bit unhappy, those will be gone as you build wealth. So if you can be happy without wealth, then you can be just a little bit happier with wealth. And that's what I want to portray in this video, okay? And I just to be honest with you, I'm just tired of hearing people, it's almost like a half rant video, half informational video, because I'm just tired of hearing people tell me that money can't buy you happiness, and, and although that's true, they're using it as an excuse to avoid the fact that they don't wanna build wealth. I believe that everyone should achieve their maximum potential with building wealth and happiness, both things. You can be wealthy and you can be happy, separately or together. And that's what I want you to understand. Now, I tried to do my best with the lighting in this video. I just wanted to, you know, sort of, I had the idea to make this video and I just wanted to make it, uh, you know, despite the fact that it's dark outside and it's night outside, but I really wanted to portray the content in this video. So please excuse the video quality, but please, I would like you to pay attention to the content. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think about money and happiness, wealth and happiness down below. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts about money and happiness? How are they related? How are they unrelated? Tell me as a comment down below, let me know. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more fantastic videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.